Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I am going to show you how to reset your, you know, your password. So if you are trying to maybe set a password using, you know, passwd command in the desktop side of things, in the console, or you're trying to, you know, update your password and you have forgot it, you have to do a bit of a reset of the Steam Deck system. Don't worry, these steps will not result in your Steam Deck getting wiped, but it is, you know, you there are a few steps that you have to do and it is a bit unfortunate but again it's for security purposes so yeah you need to either have you need a desktop pc to be able to create a bootable recovery image a lot of people online are saying you have to have windows it doesn't have to be windows it can be windows it can be mac it can be linux as well i'll cover you know how to do it on mac i mean on windows portion and I'll show you how to do it on Mac. The Linux portion is virtually the same, bar one little command difference, which I'll you know show you or I'll tell you about as well. First of all, on Windows, if you're doing it, feel free to skip to the Mac section if you're doing it on Mac or Linux. On Windows, you'll need something like 7-Zip because you'll need to extract the recovery image. Next, you'll need something like Rufus. So again, to download it, you go to, I'll provide all the links in the description. Go here, download the 64, 32-bit, probably even 64-bit. Go to Rufus and go to download. Let me click the download button. I've already got everything downloaded. Next, you want to go to Steam Deck Recovery Instructions. Link will be in the description. Click the download recovery image. Go down, click agree, download. Again, it'll take a bit of time, maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending on your internet speed. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. So on Windows, we'll be using Rufus to prepare our USB stick. On Mac and Linux, you use, you know, I don't know how to pronounce it, Belina HF, the Etcher program, I'll just call it that. And, you know, I'll, I'll have a little section covering that as well. So you will need, you know, like a USB stick. You will need a, like a USB-C hub, uh, you know, hub as well to be able to plug into your Steam Deck, plug in your... USB stick and to plug in like a keyboard and mouse as well so you can actually you know, navigate the recovery menu so now that we've downloaded everything we need first of all you want to extract the recovery myth of right click here go to 7-zip and feel free to use something like WinRAR or some other tool and then click extract to I already have it right here dot img file now open up Rufus my USB stick is inserted. I've already done the process. It's, you know, over here actually. And it's created a bunch of other partitions as well. From here, you, you see it's picked up the multiple partitions. Probably won't be the case for you. So just select your USB stick. Make sure you're selecting the right one. So if you've got multiple, you know, stuff, you know, selected. And if you're using a, you know, USB hard drive, which, you know, you can do, feel free to click this drop down. If it's just a regular USB stick, then you don't need to, you know, press that. And so deselect it. And yeah, this will wipe everything. So bear in mind, back up anything that you need. Now make sure disk or ISO image is selected. Click select and go to the recovery image. And now leave everything as default. And now just click start. It'll ask you, you know, confirming that you want to format it. It can take a bit of time because it is a, you know, not a quick format. It is a slower format. It is a full format, but again, just be way patient. Once it's done, you're ready to go. Again, I've already done it. And I recommend, you know, obviously you safely eject it as well. So that's that. We've created a bootable recovery disk from on Windows now. I'm going to switch over to Mac and show you how to do it for Mac and Linux using Etcher. Okay, so we are over on the Mac now. This is the, the process for this is very similar on Linux as well. We're going to be using Belina, Belena, Etcher, let's call it Etcher, to you know set up our USB stick. So you need the Etcher program. So go to download Etcher, download it for Mac or for Linux. It's an app image. If you want to use a command line, you know, you know, command, then you just use this command here. Again, the link will be here as well so that's how you just download the recovery image just go into here 
Let's go to click there, click download, and it will start downloading. And next, you need to extract it. You don't actually need an extra tool. I do like the unarchiver, the un the unarchiver that is, and but the built-in archive utility works great. So if you literally just do, 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 you know, if you were to just double click it, you'll start extracting it. Can take a two or three minutes or so. Can take a bit of time because it is a two and a half gig file that is extracting. Actually, how big is it after extracting? Seven point seven, seven four gig. So pretty big, even bigger. So yeah, it, it might take a bit of time. Now, let's open up the you know banana etcher. You know, drag that over to your application or you install it on your Linux machine. If you have any issues, feel free to let me know on the Discord group. Link in the description or post in the comments. Now, if we open up etcher. Obviously, make sure your USB stick is connected as well. Now, what we're going to do is flash from file. Select the file, and if we go to desktop, it's right here. Now, we're going to select target, and obviously, just select the target here, like so. Click select, and now we just click flash. I'm not going to do that just because I've already done it and, you know, I'm ready to go. So once you've done that, obviously, if it prompts you by, you know, you know formatting the USB stick because it will format it, it will wipe everything to make sure you got it backed up. If it does, you know, just go through that process and that's it. I'm going to switch over to the Steam Deck now. Had to show you how to actually boot into recovery mode, show you the commands that you need to use in recovery mode to actually reset your password and then we will set the password up. So I'll see you on the Steam Deck. Now we are ready to actually go into recovery mode. So make sure you have your, you know, your USB stick connected somehow. If I've got a dock up here with the USB stick connected, and I've got a key wired keyboard as well. So make sure you've got wired keyboard and a USB stick. You can even you won't really need a mouse, but you can attach one, or you can just use the touch screen. That should suffice. So to go into first, you need to go into your boot manager to do that. Press the volume down and click the power button. Keep the volume down button pressed though once you press the power button. You hear like a bit of a beep and vibration, and that's just the normal one that you get. You keep the volume button pressed down till you hit the boot manager. Okay, so we are here right now, and as you can see, we have our USB device. I have found, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't in terms of USB stick appearing. You know, feel free to try different USB sticks. Feel free to remap the drive. I mean, refresh the drive. Feel free to, I mean, try different hubs. I, I, I've had a few issues, so I just had to try it a few times. Now, if we go to USB device, the one that's marked as USB device, click A. And now it's just going to boot up into the Steam Deck menu and this will be the desktop menu and this will be in recovery mode it can take a minute or two but just wait patiently i'll probably edit this out anyway actually seems to have done it pretty fast this is this is not the first time i'm you know getting in here so if it's the first time for you it might take a bit longer okay fantastic i'm gonna uh, my keyboard isn't actually attached on this end. Okay, so I've attached it. It is now working. You want to select the terminal with repair tools. So, with this one right here, click that. Just a single click will suffice. And I can use the keyboard to now type. So I'm going to go and just use the mouse. I'm just going to go and go to view i'm gonna zoom in a bit just so you can obviously i will have in the description what you need to type exactly in here and feel free to you know just open up like the video on you know the web browser on youtube obviously just connect to the wi-fi down here if you do need to do that and just copy and paste it you can do that that is a perfectly valid way of doing it okay so first of all i need to type in sudo space and the tilde so that little squiggly line four slash tools four slash repair I'll put spelt repair wrong 
and focusing repair underscore device underscore device dot sh space ch root press enter and there we go we're all good now we've got two more commands so rm for remove dash f space forward slash var forward slash lib for slash overlays for slash etc for slash upper for slash past wd forward slash now that's it and we can press enter that's that just press up on your keyboard because we're writing the same command just slightly edited instead of past wd we're going to have shadow here so shadow again all commands will be in the description press enter there we go again i'm going to double check make sure all the commands were typed out correctly so we don't need to come back here all good the remove commands var lib overlays etc upper pass wd and then shadow as well that's it so once you've done that then you're ready to go back to the regular steam menu and you can literally just close this down and now what we can do is just you know we could you know go down here and go to we'll click restart restart and now we're just going back to our regular steam menu and we'll i'll show you how to now set your password waiting for it to boot up okay we are back in now you can remove your USB hub with a USB stick and keyboard we don't need that anymore now what we are going to do is go to the desktop mode so press the steam button go down to power go to switch to desktop and now in here we'll set our password so there's a couple of different ways you can do it. you can do it either in the command prompt or you know the console the terminal or you can use the setting first let me just show you the settings method Go over here, let's go to settings, system settings, and then select users. And then you just click change password. And because it's the first time we're doing it, it I mean, because we wiped the password now, it will just let us set the password without having to put an old password in because that's wiped. The other method is you literally just go over to here and type in passwd. To get the keyboard up, you press Steam and X. Like so, I'm just typing past WD and enter. I'm gonna, my mechanical keyboard is turned off. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the keyboard to do it. So past WD. I type in the password. The password is being typed, you just can't see it, there's no asterisk or anything, click enter, type it in again. Password updated successfully, fantastic. So that is how you reset your password. It's a bit convoluted, but it does not wipe your system, does not wipe your game, does not wipe your configuration, and you're all good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the Discord group, link in the description. Or just post in the comments if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and well i'll see you in the next steam deck video bye bye